Hello everyone, uh, today is another new model, this time it's Yak 11, C11 as you can see and this model was issued recently by Czech company RS Models, this is a 70 second scale kit and this aircraft is uh, let's say famous Soviet trainer, of course it's two seats as mentioned here, so it was issued recently, it was announced in the end of the September and now we have it here. Uh, as you can see here on the front we have this, let's say, a picture of the airplane combined with a photo, quite a simple box art. On the sides we have some announcements of other models uh, from RS models. You can see them here. And on the back side we have five marking options included into this kit. One, two, three, four, five. So that's pretty much all about the box. Uh, there is also present on the market another issue which is dedicated to the Czech aircrafts. But as you can see we've got this one which is dedicated to let's say other editions. So it's side opening box. And what we find inside is this bag with spruce inside and decal sheet. Let's open it. Okay. So we have inside two brown spruce, one decal sheet, one clear part and of course assembly manual. So let's check them one by one. Uh, you can notice that uh, molding quality has changed. I mean it became better, all the three cyst panel lines and as you can see even riveting is present on the surfaces. Uh, even though attachment points could be a bit thinner but other than that all the parts are molded really accurate way it reminds me of that model maybe they cooperating together i don't know why and here you can see from the other side i think these are some cockpit parts And it's quite interesting because we don't see any real wells detailization on the inner side of the top wing house. Just those push rods, which you would have to cut somehow. Let's move on. We have another one. Here are wheel wells, which I mentioned. As you can see, they are molded as separate parts, and detailization is quite good for the 70 second scale kit. Uh, here are also two dashboards for the cockpit and of course fuselage house which have this nice imitation of the fabric surface and as you can see I think front yep front cooling part is molded as a separate part as you can see with closed cooling flaps uh, there are two types of the propellers both are molded together uh, with Oh, uh, let's say blades. What else? Uh, wheels are also molded as a single parts. And let's flip over the sprue. Here we can see some basic detailization for the cockpit. But as you remember, there were two parts which would be installed here. As I mentioned, there is also one clear part. Of course, that's canopy. Oh, uh, canopy is excellent. I mean, look at it. Nice surface, clean molding, and no muted parts at all. But um, the set uh, set side here is that um, canopy is molded as a one piece, so you won't be able to open it. There is also decal sheet which contains all necessary symbols for five marking options, as you can see here. Printing quality is quite nice, so nothing to complain here. 
And here is assembly menu which is done in black and white. Quite simple, short history of zero point parts map, uh, colors which are given in just basic numbers, uh, basic names. Uh, here instructions as you can see those are shown with very simple pictures. Here is assembly menu continued. And here is the end. As you can see there will be exclusion for the DDR version. So you have to be careful while assembling this. So that's pretty much all for today. As you can see kit itself is very interesting and it should assemble into very nice small yak. Uh, as usual you can check full review on our website and I would like to thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thanks again and see you soon.